Hi, welcome to my channel Industry 4.0. Today, in this video, you will understand what are blockchain consensus algorithms? Please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. So, let's start. Consensus defined. The consensus is said to be a fault tolerant mechanism that's utilized in computer and blockchain systems to realize the required agreement on one data value or one state of the network among distributed processes or multi agent systems. Description First, we must acknowledge that the blockchain consensus mechanism is vastly different than a central computing system consensus mechanism. The latter features a limited number of users that are liable for administrating tasks, like adding or deleting records. The individuals that generated the central system allocate administrative responsibilities to others as they see fit. In blockchain, there's also a creator of the system, however, the creator doesn't allocate administrative responsibility. These responsibilities are left to independent individuals, or nodes, who have the computing power necessary to validate, monitor, and store records of the whole system, hence the decentralized aspect of blockchain. Since the records contained in blockchain contains validated currency transactions between wallets, nodes are directly liable for verifying and storing all transactions. You'll be wondering why anyone would chose to possess the burden of administrative duties. There are incentives to make a node, holding records, and verifying transactions during a blockchain system. The incentives are embedded within the two consensus mechanisms discussed below. The Proof of Work Consensus, POW The POW consensus mechanism is used currently by both Ethereum and Bitcoin. POW gives individuals with native tokens, Ether or Bitcoin, for mining activities. Mining is that the practice of solving block equations to verify various transactions. The method involves an immense amount of computing power. Individuals who participate in mining activities are rewarded with cryptocurrency on each occasion that they verify a replacement block. The quickest individual to unravel each block, most likely the one with the very best level of computing power, is granted the reward. To verify a replacement block, each node within the network must store all previous blocks within the chain. The POW mechanism is much inefficient and time-consuming. Currently, the Ethereum blockchain processes about 15 to 30 transactions per second. This keeps several issues to decentralized applications, like Ethereum, that believe transaction speed for platform efficiency. The POW mechanism also presents a scaling dilemma. Since each node must store the whole blockchain to verify transactions, there will be some extent in time when the chain becomes overlarge for smaller nodes to store all blocks, thus the system risks becoming controlled by a couple of large nodes. The Ethereum team is trying to solve these challenges through a change in consensus mechanisms and an implementation of a scalability protocol. The Proof-of-Stake Consensus, POS The Ethereum team is in search of a switch from POW to POS. The POS mechanism is analogous to POW therein both methods provide similar cryptocurrency incentives to nodes that verify and store transactions, but there are still vast differences. While POW depends on computing power to mine blocks, POS depends on a node stake, typically the quantity of currency a user holds, within the system. The more stake a user controls, the more authority they need over validation. For instance, within the Ethereum update, a group of validators alternate proposing and voting on subsequent block. The load of every validator's vote depends on the dimensions of their stake, the amount of Ether held. Typically, during a POS protocol, nodes are awarded tokens either on the quantity of stake held, in dividend format, and or by validating transactions. 
The POS system is far safer and energy efficient than PAL. Since each node is allocated voting weight before block validation occurs, there's not an abundance of nodes competing to unravel one block. Additionally, POS encourages trustworthy actions, as all nodes contain a stake, currency, within the blockchain. A nodeless vault on the chain will only cause financial harm, decrease in currency price, to the users operating the nodes. Practical Byzantine Fault Tolerance PBFT. Practical Byzantine Fault Tolerance may be a consensus algorithm introduced within the late 90s by Barbara Liskoff and Miguel Castro. This was designed to figure efficiently in asynchronous, no boundary on when the response to the request are going to be received systems. It's optimized for low overhead time. Its goal was to unravel many problems related to already available Byzantine fault tolerance solutions. Application areas include distributed computing and blockchain. What is Byzantine fault tolerance? Byzantine fault tolerance, BFT, is that the feature of a distributed network to succeed in consensus, agreement on an equivalent value, even when a number of the nodes within the network fail to reply or respond with misinformation. The main goal of a BFT mechanism is to safeguard against the system failures by employing collective decision making, both correct and faulty nodes, which aims to scale back to influence of the faulty nodes. BFT springs from Byzantine General's problem. Delegated Proof of Stake Delegated Proof of Stake, DPS, consensus algorithm is developed by different as a more useful and democratic version of the preceding POS mechanism. The both POS and DPS are used as an alternate to the proof of labor consensus algorithm, since a POW system requires, by design, many external resources. The proof-of-labor algorithm makes use of an outsized amount of computational ad order to secure an immutable, decentralized and transparent distributed ledger. The POS and DPS require fewer resources and are, by design, more sustainable and eco-friendly contrarily. To know how delegated proof-of-stake works, one must first grasp the fundamentals of the proof-of-labor and proof-of-stake algorithms that preceded it. Ripple. The Ripple is consensus algorithm. It utilizes collectively trusted sub-networks within the larger network. Nodes are divided into two types in the network. Server for participating consensus process and Client for only transferring funds. Each server has a unique node list, UNL. The server would query the nodes in UNL and if the received agreements have reached 80% the transaction would be packed into the ledger to put a transaction into the ledger. The ledger will remain correct as long as the percentage of faulty nodes in UNL is less than 20%. Tendermint This is a software for securely and consistently replicating an application on many machines. We mean that Tendermint does work albeit up to one-third of machines fail in arbitrary ways. By consistently, we mean that each non-faulty machine sees an equivalent transaction log and computes an equivalent state. The secure and consistent replication can be a basic problem in distributed systems, it plays a critical role within the fault tolerance of a broad range of applications, from currencies, to elections, to infrastructure orchestration, and beyond. The ability to tolerate machines failing in arbitrary ways, including becoming malicious, is understood as Byzantine Fault Tolerance, BFT. The blockchain technology is a reformalization of BFT in a more modern era, with focus on peer-to-peer -peer networking and cryptographic authentication. The name derives from the way transactions are batched in blocks, where each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous one, forming a sequence. In practice, the blockchain arrangement actually optimizes BFT design. 